But our lead tonight as safety setback. Just 24 hours before car washes across the state were set to reopen. Local owners tell Cairo 7 they submitted a reopening plan over a week ago, but didn't find out till today the state has not approved it. It comes as we continue to see hundreds of new COVID-19 cases statewide. Today, the Department of Health reported 311 new cases, eight new deaths. Now we begin our team coverage tonight with Cairo 7's Gary Horker. And Gary, the operators of the largest car wash fleet in the state say they were only told to pump the brakes this morning. Well, 51 brown bear car washes around the state had to have workers tell disappointed customers sorry. The governor says officially we're closed until the state can settle on a specific COVID-19 plan for car washes. This came as a real surprise to the Brown Bear Company because the governor's own phase one said car washes can reopen. We're trying to support the governor and this directive, but this is very, very frustrating. Brown Bear Car Wash's Steve Palmer said his company retrained more than 300 workers who were all ready to reopen every location with a detailed new safety plan. But today, Jay Inslee's office stopped that from happening. I'm looking at your car wash here. It was supposed to be open today. So what's going through your heart that it's not? We're just sad, you know. Uh, we've, we've made a lot of plans, a lot of preparations. Our employees were excited about it. Steve said Brown Bear had already told customers the six-week wait for a wash would soon be over. And then suddenly, we're specifically contacted by the governor's office by email yesterday and by a phone call directly today saying you cannot open. So they immediately put a pop-up alert on their website saying the governor and the state have walked back their approval for car washes to reopen. Brown Bear offers automated pay stations so customers don't have to roll down their windows or even interact with another person. What am I missing here? How is this not drive through without contact? We've asked ourselves that question countless times. The governor's office said in an email, quote, they are not supposed to open to the public until the state has issued guidance on health and safety practices for each industry. Brown Bear had already submitted a detailed safety plan to the state, which had been vetted by experts. And we were all set and ready to go. Brown Bear has managed to pay all of their 300 plus hourly wage workers since they were shut down six weeks ago. Now they say it's just a waiting game from the state to find out how and when they can start washing cars again. Reporting in Seattle tonight, I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.